Right now overseas, desperate searches for survivors are underway after a deadly 7.8 magnitude earthquake rocked Turkey and Syria. Hundreds of people are already confirmed dead and the death toll is rising. This was a large quake leveling structures across the region. ABC's Patrick Rival has more. This morning, enormous devastation in Turkey and Syria. A massive 7.8 magnitude earthquake striking overnight. Terrifying video shows the moment a building starts to collapse. In Syria as well, streets flattened. People desperately digging out survivors in a country already devastated by war. Many of those affected refugees. The death toll in the thousands. Hundreds of buildings collapsed. The epicenter of the quake in the Turkish city of Karaman Maras, near the border with Syria. The most powerful earthquake to strike Turkey since 1939. But nine hours later, as rescue workers searched for survivors, a second earthquake. This one, 7.5 magnitude, 80 miles from the first. TV cameras capturing it as it brings down a building. Turkey's President Erdogan saying this is the worst disaster his country has faced since the 1939 earthquake, which killed 30,000. Rescue workers hampered by bad weather, those left homeless facing cold and in some places snow. The U.S. State Department overnight issuing a statement saying President Biden has directed U.S. aid and other federal government partners to assess U.S. response options. Dozens of other countries offering aid as frantic efforts to save lives continue. This is one of the most powerful earthquakes to strike Turkey and Syria in a century. And Syria in particular is poorly equipped to deal with the aftermath. Patrick Reval, Channel 7. I